Hey guys, what's up? This is Brian from E Factor Outdoors. Um, as you can see behind me, uh, we have the river, and this is the same river where I tested out and used the bank poles that we're going to make in this video. Now, it is the first week of March right now, here 2018, and so I have about two months probably before I'll start really fishing for uh, for flathead catfish uh, on the river here. So now is a great time if you guys want to start a project to make some bank poles. You got two months before I would even really start using them. Um, that's the gonna be the uh, time when I've had the most luck catching catfish with bank poles or on rod and reel. So if you have a way to make the bank poles better, if you have a way to make them uh, easier drop a comment below I'd love to hear as well as the rest of the viewers um, I'm gonna put some links in the description below from Amazon with some of the the hooks the line uh, things like that that I use to make these bank poles in case you just want to buy them off there you got plenty of time still um, before you're gonna need them so What I'm going to be doing today is making some bank poles. I just started fishing with bank poles last year. I borrowed some from my neighbor, actually. He had about some uh, 10 year old bank poles. And I decided, after using those, to build my own and uh, make a few tweaks while I'm at it. What you're going to need is uh, buy some half inch PVC. What I'm going to be using is a five foot piece per pole. Then I've got a, a two foot piece of half inch rebar. You're going to need some egg sinkers, um, 1 16th inch galvanized steel cable. You're going to be making some liters out of that. Daiichi, I don't even know if that's how you say it, but they're 10 aught J hooks, extra deep J hooks. If you got a real big eyelet hole there, real sharp, it's real deep, so the bluegill's only going to come to about here, and you're going to have about a quarter to half an inch of uh, sharp hook hanging up afterwards. So these weren't too bad. These are about a dollar a hook. Then I'm going to be using some circle hooks. Uh, you can use Gamagatsu. Um, these are called Hypercat Trident Hook. Again, these were probably like 80 cents a hook. They're a little less heavy duty, a little smaller, um, but it's a circle hook. And these are supposed to catch more fish than traditional hooks. So I just personally haven't tested both. And so, so I haven't seen a difference in, you know, percentage of fish caught versus your baits missing and there's no fish on. So. I'm gonna do about half and half, and we'll find out this year. Um, you're gonna need hose clamp. You're gonna need some drill bits. You're gonna need some bolts. Basically, you're gonna end up bolting, bolting this together. I think I'm using uh, 10, 24 pitch bolts. For line, I'm using this is like 500 pound uh, nylon tarred rope. 16 inches is what you want poking out of the bank pole. And then we got eight inches inside the bank pole. Somewhere in here is where we want to drill. So we mark right there. When the PVC pipe is over this, um, the 
the PVC pipe is going to be kind of slopping around a little bit and bending. I don't want the sharp edge on the rebar to cut into the PVC and eventually wear it down and break it. So I'm going to round off the edge of the rebar that we stick into the PVC. Okay, one more thing that you need to do to make it easier on yourself when you're drilling through. Um, when you're grinding the end here, make a little flat spot right here so that your drill tip, uh, when you hit go through the PVC, your drill tip doesn't wander around. Uh, when you hit the flat spot, that makes it easier to drill through the two. Yeah. Well, that's solid, and we'll stick it in the drill press. Use a nylon, nylock nut to lock it down, or you just use two nuts like lock washers. You don't need to video me, Dad. So I decided to do uh, do the holes in a few different colors so that when we're setting them, you know, you may remember, oh, I stuck the blue one over there in the corner by the creek. Or I stuck the black one over here. I stuck the black the white one over here. Alright, I got a bunch of 1 16th cable. Cut into about one foot sections. Got these little cable crimps. All right, now we're gonna tie the line on. So, go ahead and take some line out. And remember, here we've got our bolt that we ran through there. We're gonna end up tying it to that bolt. Just tie it like that. Whatever. Put it over. And what we're doing here is we're leaving ourselves room to adjust it when we're out there on the water. So if you want to, when you're out there, you can take out some of these loops and you can make the line shorter or you can make the line longer. Then we come down to the bottom, Just loop it around here. And the idea here is if the PVC pipe breaks, the rebar is still going to be stuck in the ground. This bolt is ran through the rebar inside there. So we're tying this rope to the rebar, more or less, since it's tied to this bolt. So if the PVC pipe breaks from a giant fish or whatever, you're still gonna be able to recover your fish if he's hooked. Um, because this rope and the setup is so strong. And we're gonna put a hose clamp right here, just kind of, once again, securing that rope to the rebar is all we're doing and making sure if something breaks on here, it's not coming loose. And then I'll probably wrap this uh, with electrical tape or something also, just so there's not a sharp edge for me to cut myself on. There you go. And our hook, you want the hook to be able to come down about here. So we're gonna have a leader on here. You know, we're gonna loop it up something like this. Uh, I'm just gonna cut that off. And then the next step, we'll put the swivel and we'll make us a little loop like this that the leader can go on.
These swivels, uh, I don't remember. I believe they're about 150 pound. Think about 150 pound swivel, something like that. They are rolling swivel three off. Three slash zero. Drill in a small hole. This is like a two millimeter drill bit. Put one of these little bitty screws in here. Just like that. Now this gets this gets wet and for whatever reason it decides to start slipping down. It's not gonna be able to get past this screw. 